Solve the following equations using any method you wish. A, 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x is equal to 0. All right, so I see a polynomial equation in a standard form. It's not quadratic, though, since it's got an x cubed. But I notice that I've got a common factor of x, so I'd factor out the x first. So I'd have x by 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. All right, now, um, well, then we have x is equal to 0, or 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. So we have a solution, x is equal to 0. Now we have that 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. We can try and factor the trinomial, or we can apply the quadratic formula. Now, of course, the difficulty with factoring is, well, sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes you cannot factor a polynomial, a quadratic polynomial. So instead, what I'll do here is use the quadratic formula. All right, applying the quadratic formula, we would have x is equal to the opposite of 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 by 4 by negative 6 over 2 times 4. So that would be 5, sorry, negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 plus 4 times 4 times 6, 96 over 8 negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 121 over 8, negative 5 plus or minus 11 over 8. Breaking that up into two values, x is equal to negative 5 minus 11 over 8, that's negative 16 over 8, which is negative 2. x is equal to 5, negative 5 plus 11 over 8, negative 5 plus 11 is 6, 6 over 8 is 3 fourths. So we have three solutions, uh, negative 2, 0, and 3 fourths. Exercise B, we have 6p squared plus 15 is equal to 21. Now, in this one, I would not use the quadratic formula because I do not see a linear term. I don't see a just a number times p. All I have is the p square and constants. So here I'm going to use the square root property. I'll subtract the 15 from both sides. So then 6p square is equal to 6. Dividing through by 6, p square is 1. Applying the square root property, p is the positive or negative square root of 1. So p is equal to negative 1 or p is equal to positive 1. The quadratic formula would have worked, but it would have been much more difficult and more chances for errors than just using the square root property. k squared plus 6k is equal to negative 5. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get that to 0. So I'd have k squared plus 6k is equal to, I'm sorry, plus 5 is equal to 0. I could use the quadratic formula here. There's nothing wrong with it. But this is easy to factor. Since we have a 1k square here, 5 only has factors of 1 and 5. right? K has fact, the 1k square has factors of 1 and 1. This factors as k plus 1 times k plus 5. So factoring was really easy in that case. So I'm going to use it. k plus 1 is 0, which means that k is negative 1. 1, k plus 5 is 0, which means that k is negative 5. Quadratic formula would have worked. Factoring was easier. 1 third x squared plus 4.1x minus 7.2 is equal to 0. I'm not even going to try to factor this. I'm going to go straight to the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative 4.1 plus or minus the square root, 4.1 square minus 4 by 1.3 by negative 7.2 over 2 times 1.3. So I'd have negative 4.1 plus or minus the square root. And I'm going to use the calculator here because I don't want to mess with those numbers in my head. 
So I'd have 4.1 square minus 4 by 1.3 by negative 7.2. So that's 54.25 under the radical. 2 times 1.3 is 2.6 in the denominator. All right, back to the calculator. Numerator, negative 4.1 minus the square root of 54.25. Close it off. Close off the numerator. Divide by 2.6. All right, second, enter, and change that subtraction in the numerator to an addition. Hit enter a second time. All right, let me and then approximate appropriately. So then x is approximately negative 4.410. x is approximately 1.256.